Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. Blood pressure is something doctors and nurses measure because high blood pressure is related to heart disease. This is Dr. Greger talking about high blood pressure. Watch his lips. What sound does he make instead of d at the end of blood? No, since the 1920s that high blood pressure need not occur. No, we've known since the 1920s that high blood pressure need not occur. No, we've known since the 1920s that high blood pressure need not occur. If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. He makes the b sound. So instead of blood pressure, it sounds like he says blub pressure, blub pressure, blub pressure. Blub is not a very common word in English, but it does have several meanings. And it can be confusing if you hear blub instead of blood. But blood can mean to cry noisily and uncontrollably. It can also be the sound a fish makes. So a cat says meow and fish say blub blub. And blub can also be an abbreviation for blubber, which is the fat on a sea animal, like a whale. So why does this happen? It's due to a feature of connected speech called assimilation which is when a sound changes to be more like the following sound. And it's usually to make pronunciation easier. It's just easier for the mouth. So sometimes a d sound at the end of a word, like blood, changes to a b sound, like blub, when the following word starts with a p, b, or m sound like pressure. If you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds, please see the link below the video to the interactive phonemic chart. And I say sometimes because this really depends on the speaker and how fast and informally they're talking. Here are a few more examples. Number one, instead of red pepper, you might hear red pepper, red pepper. Number two, instead of bad back, you might hear bad back, bad back. And number three, instead of old man, you might hear old man, old man. To help you hear how a final d can change to a b, I'm going to say 10 phrases. Please write what I say.
pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10 if you need to. Again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line tells you the number of words in the phrase. I'll say each one fast, then slower, then fast. Here we go. Number one, red meat. Red meat. Red meat. Number two, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Number three, mud pie. Mud pie. Mud pie. Number four, red potatoes. Red potatoes. Red potatoes. Number five, speed bump. Speed bump. Speed bump. Number six. They need money. They need money. They need money. Number seven, I need more time. I need more time. I need more time. Number eight, we should make a plan. We should make a plan. We should make a plan. Number nine. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Number 10, that child plays well with others. That child plays well with others. That child plays well with others. So again, if you're watching with someone else or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. Go back and replay parts of the dictation if you need to. Here are the answers. Pause the video if you need to while you check. Couple of notes. Number three, mud pie is a chocolate dessert. And number five, speed bump is a raised area in a road uh, that makes cars go slowly. It can also be called a speed hump. So sometimes 
it can help to pronounce a feature of connected speech in order to hear it when other people use it. So please listen and repeat after me. Try to make the B sound at the end of the first bolded word. Here we go. Number one, red meat. Red meat. Number two, good morning. Good morning. Number three, mud pie. Mud pie. Number four, red potatoes. Red potatoes. Number five, speed bump. Speed bump. Number six, need money. Need money. Number seven, need more. Need more. Number eight, should make should make. Number nine, could possibly. Could possibly. Number 10, child plays. Child plays. So to review, sometimes a d sound at the end of a word changes to a b sound when the following word starts with a p, b, or m sound. A final example is world music. World music. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of a d sound at the end of a word changing to a b sound and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of a d sound at the end of a word changing to a b sound in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.